Hey dudes, today I wanna to talk about pan automation. If we're working in stereo, we're gonna be talking about panning something to the left and panning something to the right. So let's check out the clip and get started. Left, center, right. Okay, so far, no good. All I'm saying is left, center, right, but everything is playing in the center and feels centered. So let's get that left, left, and that right, right. The first thing that we need to do is click on the bottom left of the track to show our automation lanes. Right now it is set up for volume, but today we're gonna do pan. So all I need to do is click on pan. And I can also increase this window by clicking on the ruler. And you will see that there is a left and a right. So perfect. And I wanna show you one additional method. Instead of clicking each individual place where you wanna keyframe, let's keyframe a whole section by getting the selector tool, making our selection on the pan automation line and hovering towards the top and it looks like a little staple or something like that, right? So I'm gonna click and drag that up, up specifically because I'm going to the left of the track and I know my first clip I wanna pan left, my second clip I wanna leave center, and my third clip I can get the selector tool and click and drag down towards the right side of the pan. And let's check our work. Left, center, right. Beautiful, bada boom. This time I wanna take a sound of a car and I wanna move it from left to right or right to left to make it sound like it's actually driving directionally from left to right. In the previous example, we just took one sound and we moved it left, one sound and we moved it right. This one, I wanna actually make it sound like it's moving. So let's check it out. Okay, so same rules apply. I can go to the bottom left of my track here to show my automation lane. I can change it to pan. I can hold command and get my little plus sign fingy and I can draw my dots, but you know what? I'm feeling a little frisky this time and I wanna do this with the pan knob here. So let's change it to touch mode, and you'll notice that this is my DX1 track. So I can either change it here to my FX1, or I could have just clicked on the output window button right there. I am in touch mode, and I am ready to go. Pretty awesome to me. Hopefully it's awesome to you. Okay, that's it. Today we took a clip of me saying left and we panned it left. A clip of me saying right and we panned it right. We also took a car and we panned it from left to right and right to left. We did this with two different methods. First, we opened up our automation lanes, changed it to pan automation, selected the part where it said left, and moved it to the left part of the automation. We did the same thing with the right. For the car, we put it into touch automation mode, and I slowly grabbed that knob with my mouse, moved it left, and then I started to shift it to the right, and I did the same thing from right to left to give the car a nice little direction. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next time, later dudes.